In this problem, we're asked to sketch the region of integration R in R2, and then give an iterated integral in which the order of integration is reversed, and then evaluate that newly created iterated integral. So we're given, to start with, the iterated integral from negative 2 to 2, and from x squared to 4 of 1 dy dx. So first we want to sketch our region of integration. So we see that with respect to y, we want y to vary from x squared to 4. So we have y range is greater than x squared, but less than 4. And then with respect to x, we want x to vary from negative 2 to 2. So x is greater than negative 2, but less than 2. So we have these two constraints. So let's look at the region that they describe. So we have our, we have R2 given as X and Y, the y, X and Y axis. So we want our Y to be greater than X squared. So that means that if we look at the function Y equals X squared, we want everything that lies above it. So we can just kind of roughly roughly sketch the equation y equals x squared. And then we want y to also be less than or equal to 4. So if we let so if we let this point be y equals 4, then the horizontal line through that point is the equation of y equals 4. So we want our x values. So first, we want our x, our y to be between x squared and 4. So we want y's to be greater than, so lying within the parabola, but less than our horizontal line. So that describes this region here. And now we'll look at where our points x equals negative 2 and 2 lie on our parabola. So if we plug in x equals negative 2 to x squared, we get 4. So that means it's the point of intersect, one of the points of intersection of our parabola and the line y equals 4. And since we're looking, since x is negative, it's got, it has to be this point here. So so the vertical line that extends through that point of intersection is at x equals negative 2. And similarly at the point x equals 2, when we plug it into the parabola, we see that it's also equal to 4, so it's the other point of intersection. So we, we have our region that was defined purely based off of our y constraint is uh, the same region that um, also satisfies our x constraint because all of the points in our y constraint area are between x equals negative 2 and 2. So this, is, this region above the parabola and below the horizontal line is our region R. And so we've, we've been given an iterated integral in, with respect to y first and then x. 
So we want to give an iterated integral in which the order of our integration is reversed. So that means we want to create some integral, some iterated integral of 1 integrated with respect to x first and then y. So if we look at our x values, we want our x values to be first lying at the point between negative 2 and 2 when we're at 4. But then as we, as we get, um, as our y value decreases, we want our x values to get closer and closer together, but still remain on our parabola. So we'll look at our, so our parabola is still determining our, is now determining our x values. So if we solve for x on our parabola, y equals x squared, we get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of y just by taking the square root. So we see that we have the positive square root and the negative square root. And so if we if we look at our limits, we want our first our we want our x value to be greater than the limit of integration of negative square root of y, but then we also want it to be less than the square root of y. So that means that we're ranging from negative square root y to square root y. Okay, so if we let our x values range in that respect, we're actually going to get all values along the inside of the parabola but we now want to use our dy to constrain, constrain our region to just between 0 and y equals 4 because if we were to integrate from 0 to infinity, that would give us the entire area inside of this parabola, but we only want this specific region. So we want to integrate from 0 to 4. So we've determined our new iterated integral with reversed order, and we see that first, so we have our limits of integration with respect to x are from negative square root y to positive square root y, and our limits of integration with respect to y are from 0 to 4. Okay, so now we want to calculate this inter iterated integral. So we'll first calculate our integral with respect to x and then we'll calculate with respect to y. So we want to calculate the integral from negative square root y to y of 1 dx. The integral of 1 dx is just x. So So our integral changes to the integral from 0 to 4 of x evaluated from negative square root y to y dy. So we can go ahead and evaluate this and we get the integral from 0 to 4 of square root y minus a negative square root y. So that's just plus square root y. Square root y plus square root y is 2 square root y. So we can simplify the inside there. And we get our integral simplifies to 2 times the integral from 0 to 4 of square root y dy. Okay, so now we just need to take the integral of square root y dy.
and we get our 2 from the outside times 2 thirds y to the 3 halves, since square root y is just y raised to the power of 1 half. And we get, and we can simplify this even a little bit more to just 4 thirds times y to 3 halves. And now we can evaluate from 0 to 4, and we get 4 thirds, and then the square root of 4 is 2, raised to the third power is 8, so 4 thirds times 8, minus 0 raised to the 3 halves is 0, so we just get 4 thirds times 8, which is 32 over 3. So we sketched our region of integration, we reversed our order of integration, and then we evaluated our newly calculated iterated integral, and we got um, the value is equal to 32 over 3.